Hello there. Do you want to know the subject of this video? But before we dive into the heart of today's subject, let's start with a little brain teaser. Here's a riddle for you. What gets wetter the more it dries? Take a moment, mull it over, and keep your answer at the ready. We'll circle back to it at the end of the video for a bonus point. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth, and this little riddle is no different. With that said, let's get our gears turning and embark on our journey of release and liberation. Hello, wise viewers. Welcome back to Steph is King Entrepreneurship, where we navigate the path to a fulfilling life. If you've landed here for the first time, consider this your launch pad to a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Today, we're about to delve into a topic that's as crucial as it is often overlooked, the 10 things we tend to hold on to far too long in life. We're all guilty of clinging to certain aspects, situations, or patterns that, in reality, do nothing but weigh us down. But fear not, because today is all about release and liberation. So buckle up and prepare to lighten your load as we venture into this enlightening exploration of letting go. Today, we're tackling a crucial topic, the 10 things we often wait too long to let go of. Let's embark on a journey of release. Kicking off our list is unfulfilled expectations, a burden we often carry for far too long. We all have hopes and dreams, expectations we set for ourselves and for life. But when these aren't met, we can feel stuck, disappointed, even defeated. The danger lurks in the holding on, the unwillingness to accept a different outcome. Clinging to unfulfilled expectations can hinder personal growth, restrict our capacity for happiness, and keep us locked in a cycle of dissatisfaction. The freedom lies in the release, in the understanding that life doesn't always play out as we planned. It's in the surrendering, the letting go of outcomes and situations that we can truly begin to grow. We learn to adapt, to find joy in unexpected places, and to accept ourselves as we are, not as we expected to be. No more procrastination, it's time to release this element from your life. Next on our list is past mistakes, a common obstacle to personal growth. We all have moments in our past that we're not proud of, decisions we wish we could take back, and actions we regret. But dwelling on these past mistakes doesn't serve us. It only anchors us in a time and place we can no longer change. The key to letting go of past mistakes is forgiveness, not just of others but of ourselves. We must recognize that we are human, and humans make mistakes. Our errors are not a reflection of our worth but a testament to our growth. They are lessons learned, stepping stones that shape us into who we are today. But here's the catch. We can only benefit from our past mistakes if we allow ourselves to learn from them. That involves acknowledging the mistake, understanding the lesson it taught us, and then moving on. We must leave the mistake in the past where it belongs, carrying forward only the wisdom it imparted. This pattern is a game changer because it allows us to learn from the past without being held back by it. Coming up next is toxic relationships, a heavy load that can hinder our journey to fulfillment. These are relationships that drain us, leaving us feeling depleted and devalued. They can be friendships, family ties, or romantic relationships that have turned sour. Often we cling to these relationships out of a sense of duty, fear of loneliness, or the belief that we can change the other person. But the truth is, we cannot pour from an empty cup. Prioritizing personal growth means recognizing when a relationship is no longer serving us. It's about understanding that it's okay to walk away, to choose peace over chaos. This doesn't mean we should abandon people at the first sign of trouble. Instead, it's about distinguishing between relationships that need work and those that are fundamentally toxic. Remember, every relationship should offer a balance of give and take. If you find yourself constantly giving and rarely receiving, it may be time to reassess. Letting go of toxic relationships is not about blame, it's about prioritizing your well-being. Before we continue on this enlightening journey, a quick reminder, if you're finding value in this content and want to delve deeper into the world of personal growth and entrepreneurship, make sure to subscribe to the Steph is King Entrepreneurship channel. We've got a plethora of enlightening content waiting for you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, that way, you'll stay updated on our latest releases and won't miss out on any insightful discussions. Remember, every step towards understanding ourselves is a step towards personal and professional success. Now let's get back to our journey of release and liberation. Next, we're addressing the need for control, a common roadblock to personal growth. This aspect is all about our innate desire to have everything planned and predictable, to hold all the reins of our lives. But the reality is, life is fluid and ever-changing. The power of surrender comes into play here. Letting go of the need for control doesn't mean giving up. 
it means understanding that we cannot steer all circumstances. It's about trusting the journey, even when the destination is unclear. This doesn't mean we shouldn't strive for our goals or have a plan. It simply means acknowledging that sometimes, despite our best efforts, things may not go as expected. And that's perfectly all right. The liberation that comes with releasing the need for control is immense. It allows for flexibility, adaptability, and openness to new possibilities. It encourages us to embrace uncertainty with courage and optimism. Remember, not everything in life can be controlled and that's okay. The beauty of life often lies in its unpredictability, in the surprises it throws our way. So let's learn to let go and enjoy the ride. Halfway through our list, we're tackling negative self-talk, a common barrier to personal growth. This is the voice in your head that whispers, I can't, I'm not good enough, or it's too hard. It's a universal struggle, but it doesn't have to define us. Our thoughts have power. They can either propel us forward or hold us back. When we engage in negative self-talk, we're essentially programming our minds to believe we're incapable, unworthy, or destined to fail. The reality, none of that is true. We need to switch the narrative. Start affirming your worth, your capabilities, and your strength. Replace I can't with I can, I'm not good enough with I'm more than enough, and it's too hard with I can do hard things. It's not about denying difficulties, it's about acknowledging that you have the power to overcome them. Remember, it's okay to stumble and fall. It's okay to not know everything. It's okay to be a work in progress, but it's not okay to be your own worst critic. Be gentle with yourself. Celebrate your victories, however small. Forgive yourself for your mistakes. They're proof that you're trying. Letting go of negative self-talk is a crucial step towards self-love and acceptance. Moving along, we're addressing the fear of change, a common obstacle to personal growth. Change can be scary, it's true. It's the unknown, the unpredictable. It's stepping out of our comfort zones and into uncharted territory. Yet change is also an opportunity. Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Embracing this fact allows us to let go of our fears and step forward into growth. Instead of fearing change, we can choose to see it as a chance to learn, to evolve, and to become a better version of ourselves. It's essential to remember that change doesn't mean losing who we are. It means growing and expanding our horizons. It's a stepping stone to a more fulfilling life. So let's challenge ourselves to let go of this fear and welcome change with open arms. Remember, change is the only constant in life. Next up, we're discussing living in the past, a common barrier to personal growth. It's easy to get lost in the maze of yesterday, isn't it? Those what ifs and if onlys can keep us replaying past scenes like an old movie. But here's the thing, living in the past robs us of our present. It's like trying to drive forward while constantly looking in the rearview mirror. Imagine instead embracing the present moment, the here and now. This is where life happens. This is where joy resides. By letting go of the past, we free our hands to grasp the possibilities of today. We can learn from our past, yes, but let's not live there. Let's live where we can actually make a difference in the present moment. So take a deep breath, feel the air filling your lungs, listen to the sounds around you. This is the present. This is your life happening right now. Remember, the present moment is all we truly have. We've covered a lot of ground so far, and I hope you're finding this journey of release and liberation enlightening. It's not always easy to confront these aspects of our lives, but it's through understanding that we can begin to let go and move forward. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you recognized any of these aspects in your own life? Do you have any insights or experiences you'd like to share? Let's make this journey together, so don't hesitate to leave your thoughts and reflections in the comments section below. And if you're finding value in this content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It helps us to reach more people and continue providing valuable insights. Remember, this journey is about liberation, about freeing ourselves from the barriers that hold us back. As we continue, keep in mind the power of letting go. It's not just about moving on, it's about growing and evolving. Now let's continue our journey with the eighth aspect, others' opinions. Next, we're discussing the burden of others' opinions, a common roadblock to personal growth. It's human nature to seek validation and approval, but when we become overly concerned with what others think, it can paralyze us and keep us from pursuing our true passions. Imagine a world where the noise of others' opinions doesn't drown your inner voice, where you don't second-guess your decisions or suppress your desires based on what others might think. Such a world is not only imaginable, but it's also attainable. It starts with recognizing the value of your own opinion. 
Your thoughts, your feelings, your desires, they matter. They are the compass guiding you towards your true north, and their worth is not diminished by the opinions of others. It's about time we stop letting the fear of judgment hold us back. When you begin to value your own opinion above others, a remarkable thing happens. You start to live authentically, free from the constraints of societal expectations. You become the architect of your own life, building a world that reflects your values, your dreams, your spirit. Remember, your opinion of yourself is what truly matters. Second to last on our list, we're tackling the fear of failure, a common obstacle to personal growth. This fear can be paralyzing, preventing us from taking risks and stepping out of our comfort zones. But here's the truth. Failure is not our enemy. It's a teacher, a guide, a stepping stone on the path to success. We often view failure as a blight on our record, a sign that we're not good enough or that our efforts were in vain. But what if we reframe our perspective? What if we see failure not as a dead end but as a detour, an unexpected route leading us to new opportunities and experiences? Picture this. Every time you stumble, you're learning. Every misstep, every setback is a lesson, a chance to grow and improve. Embracing failure as a learning opportunity can liberate us from the paralyzing fear that holds us back. It's about shifting our mindset, viewing failure as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success, it's part of the journey. Finally, we're discussing the illusion of perfection, a common barrier to personal growth. We often clutch onto the idea that we need to be perfect to be accepted or successful. This illusion can leave us feeling perpetually inadequate, always striving for an unreachable standard. But here's the truth, perfection doesn't exist. It's merely an illusion. We are beautifully flawed human beings, and that's okay. Embracing our imperfections not only brings authenticity, but also allows us to connect more genuinely with others. We need to let go of the illusion of perfection, realizing that our worth is not defined by an unattainable standard. It's time to acknowledge and appreciate our unique quirks, our strengths, and even our weaknesses. After all, these are the elements that make us who we are. So instead of chasing perfection, let's strive for growth, for authenticity, for being the best versions of ourselves. And remember, it's okay to stumble, to make mistakes, and to learn from them. That's how we grow. Remember, perfection is an illusion. Authenticity is real. And there you have it, 10 things we often struggle to let go of. But we don't want you to just listen and nod. We want you to take action. Choose one aspect from this list that resonated with you and make the decision right now to start releasing it. Over the next week, muster your strength, strength, and determination to break free from its hold. This is your golden opportunity to start unburdened by what doesn't serve you. Remember the powerful words of Lao Tzu, new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Letting go is not about loss but about creating space for growth and boundless new. It won't be instantaneous or easy, there will bumps along the way, but view them as signs as markers on your journey to a more enriched life. Share your journey in the comments below. Let your experience inspire others. We're all in this together, on a shared journey towards self-improvement and a fulfilling life. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll delve into strategies to overcome these hurdles and break free from what's holding you you back. Now our riddle for the day, what gets wetter the more it dries? Answer is a towel. Did you guess it? If so, give yourself a pat on the back. If you found this video video helpful, remember to hit the like button. Your engagement fuels us to deliver more content like this. And haven't subscribed to Steph is King Entrepreneurship and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Until we meet again, this is Steph is King Entrepreneurship, here to guide and inspire you towards a more fulfilling life.